Hello and welcome to Untold Stories, a new series of interviews and interactions with behind the scene individuals and functions who work tirelessly and often facelessly to keep our bank ready at all times. We begin with operations because it's the backbone and to my mind, in the context of the bank at least, what blood is to human body and life. Thanks Neeraj. So Bhavish, during this extended lockdown, we have 95% of our branches up and running. We are managing close to 2 lakh customer engagements on a daily basis. We also have from our 13,000 ATMs almost a 93% uptime. Take us behind the scenes and help us understand how this is being done, how we are handling this as the head of operations. Today in the bank, I don't think so. We are the only one uh, contributing to managing this whole uh, show at the bank level. Every vertical without exception, uh, people who come to office and people who don't come to office, I know for sure uh, a lot of hard work happening, uh, working from home. But the point is, is that whether it's from home or from office, uh, the whole machinery uh, is working at a bank level because of effort by each one of the team members uh, across every vertical. Uh, specific to operations, very, very unprecedented situation. And the uh, uh, primary driver uh, would be two parts. One, uh, we genuinely do not have uh, a situation where operations can do work from home uh, in the present scenario. All applications are very critical and we work on core banking applications. So we have to access the application and to access the applications, uh, we need the team in office to make sure the day-to-day -day work is uh, on and goes uh, in a smooth manner. Uh, so we have a dedicated kind of seniors who drive this. Broadly, they are in office most of the days and um, trying to lead from the front. On a day-to-day -day basis, I think so, uh, volumes are low, uh, but there are some aspects which are mission critical. So, for example, the ATM servicing. So, right now, our customers would need uh, our ATMs to be functioning. So, the currency chess teams have been working uh, very diligently. On rest of the business area, uh, gradually, volumes have been reducing. But there are volumes, so even if it's down to say a 40% or a 50% from the peak, uh, it's still significant volume for our size of the bank. Uh, based on the volume, we have called them to office. Uh, we have ensured and there is a direct correlation. If volumes are dropped by 40%, uh, we call 40% team to office. So we are making sure uh, we have the right proportion of the people coming at all centers and making sure that the servicing at no point of time uh, is compromised. So our employees are not only in contact with customers, they are also in contact with their families. So what are the uh, special precautions we are taking? So first is we make sure at any point of time, whether it's a bank staff or a HDB or a contract staff, uh, we would take ownership and responsibility for all the three teams type of team because eventually all three combine work together and make this operations uh, thing work. Uh, secondly, uh, we ensure we identify how many people we need to for them to come to office. Because in, in some centers, commute was not so difficult. But then if the volumes are not much, then we were very, very particular that uh, we were not wanting, not wanting. Social distancing is critical and not crowding the office is very critical. Uh, we shut down night shift across operations, etc. And third one is the hygiene part, providing mask sanitization, fumigation of premises, educating the staff on social distancing. So we have, we have taken all precautions. It's really something we are extremely conscious and uh, we'll continue to be conscious about this for a reasonably long time. So Bhavish, uh, as we were talking, one thing came to my mind that uh, the moratorium was announced by the government on a uh, weekend and uh, we had a very uh, few days to implement it and meet the expectation of the RBI as well as crores of customers across the country. So how difficult as a bank it was to implement it very effectively and meet the expectation of people across the country. On 27th March, the circular was released. So first six, seven days was participating intensively to understand karna kya hai, what is the next step, who is eligible, what is the definition of a moratorium. 
so i think so that was a strong engagement and once the learning was very very strong i think so uh, that helped in terms of then when the documents got signed so when we got all these notes approved the framework the structure uh, you know the nuances uh, the permutation combination we all had a fairly good idea in first what changes we have to do in our system so we were able to uh, articulate very well what is the monitoring requirement and obviously then uh, you know the testing got done and then gradually uh, all the products got implemented first we were able to implement the emi loans so today more than 30 odd lakhs or 35 odd lakhs emi loans we have processed for moratorium managing the moratorium of course has been the latest challenge at an everyday level there is a huge process involved right from the time rbi prints the currency till the time it reaches the customer could you please take us through it so two parts one is uh, getting the credit into their account so i think so from a uh, journey we have today the electronic platforms available today uh, the money from uh, you know government to the the final beneficiary from a corporate to their staff or vendors practically can uh, do happen in hours time you know it's so fast so well oiled so well greased and all second leg comes so i think so the making sure account of the beneficiary gets credited irrespective of uh, who is a remitter whether it's a government whether it's a panchayat whether it's a mandi whether it's a aratya to the farmer i think so the machinery is extremely well greased so money reaching the beni i don't think so it's any challenge anymore to how the beni can use the funds i think so there also uh there are two parts if the beni is wanting to make uh, electronic payment i think so the opportunity available upi percent to percent transfer making payment to any merchant p2m payments using uh, you know qr code using uh, net or mobile banking to pay, pay a merchant on e-commerce site again i think so it's, it's hugely greased 24 by 7 uh, on the cash they have to go to atm uh, the currency gets uh, loaded every day so the generally the cycle of currency works so that the government of india has got presses which, which prints currency across four centers across india they distribute to their own office first so there are issue department of rbi about 20 of them and they in turn hand over the cash to the banks the banks is only currency chest so rbi would we reach out to one of those 20 centers which are issue department of the rbi we collect the cash from them and we load our atm through our cit agencies or we distribute the cash to branches for every process uh, in a bank there is a turnaround time what we call tax so during this lockdown period and corona there must have been uh, some lessons for us and learnings as well as a bank has it improved or it has increased for a common customer when we are dealing with him on his requirement so yeah good question i think so very important question uh, so first uh, two weeks i think so we were also little uh, kind of uh, uh, getting our act together uh, to make sure that uh, uh, we identify areas which were uh, significantly impacted to fix uh, the tax and may, uh, bring everything back on track entirely when it is within our scheme of thing within the ambit of bank and bank staff we were able to meet the tax there was no impact on the dilution or compromise on tax the impact came when we were little dependent on the outside agency and then we have uh, um, put our resources within the bank scheme of things you know, cutting down the reliance on the bpos but when the working was within the operation and the bank staff scheme of things i think so we were able to bounce back a lot of you know places bhavish you have discovered new ways of doing things something that was taking us perhaps a few days taking us a few hours now do you think a lot of these you know learnings will will bring back and uh, you know the bit maybe this you so here uh, one big learning i think so i'll take is that we have we always had a this uh, thought process of uh, digital fulfillment uh for our customers some very good services and offerings we have true digital fulfillment we are looking at a little higher level of engagement you know reaching that last mile 
needs to be way better than what we thought was a good good enough so i think so uh, using aadhar using our existing kyc of our our customer say so customer already has a savings account current account with us if he wants a pl or a credit card there are occasions opportunity or areas where we do a re kyc for them Yeah. So I think so. Uh, when we have done some of these digital learnings, uh, we realize that there was this last mile where we should have done a better job. And I think so. The team again has worked for us to help identifying these gaps. My question to you, Bhavesh, is that uh, uh, banks, like any other uh, corporate, have uh, a BCP business continuity practice. And particularly during the lockdown, what are the new learnings uh, that you have seen as far as uh, BCP is concerned? I think so. Some learning has been there on the BCP definition. So we have a retail asset premises in Chennai, and on around I think so, 15th April or so, or 14th April, one of the staff was identified uh, COVID positive, and the premises was just shut. It's about 170 people, and uh, there was nothing we could do. so we were able to uh, run that operations out of mumbai delhi and calcutta so so bcp was activated the learning was that you shouldn't have a bcp at city level at a premise level but maybe i can take a pause and uh, request bindu to add a couple of bit on two parts one is the other team you know making sure the whole machinery works day in day out and maybe couple of learnings surely boss uh, thank you uh, we always uh, believe that we should be physically present but that is not required today's work Uh, having said that, we also came across various, uh, you know, kind of PCP uh, plans, like uh, particularly about retail assets. Similarly, uh, Kanjur Mart here is always a centralized processing units. If one day Kanjur shuts, then what? For whatever reason, unfortunate incidents happens, or this building gets shut, then there is a major issue that how we should run our this centralized uh, units. We decided we should have this centralized operations also split into various. premises within those critical locations also and over uh, two nights we actually moved out with logistics of infrastructure whatever required noida has even more interesting story where we had the state head of ncr coming using the cash van to reach office from home but uh, bhavish one small thing that i would also like to mention here is that while we are ensuring that all the operations uh, there is no stoppage there is no hindrances but uh, there are people if you go little down to the states if you little go down to the smaller centers i am seeing people and i am getting news from various of my staff across that they are helping the migrant workers also they are preparing food at their home and supplying to them apart from you wow. know addition in addition to they are completing their duties in office they are providing a large number of food packets they are providing a large number of masks to all the migrant workers so that has been i mean that's a very 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 huge you know satisfaction and a good good feeling for for us for our team that in spite of this crisis happening and making sure that the customers are not you know any way uh, faces any challenges in addition to that they are doing this activity as well so you know it's been it's been phenomenal from that part Gaurav, how are you using your Bhuvaneshwar bank house to keep the show going in a complete lockdown scenario? So Bhuvaneshwar is where we run our Western Grid uh, clearing operation. So suddenly, I think the first state who has done the complete lockdown in the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, where no one allowed to come out of their residence across the city. And we, around our BPO center, that place, uh, pe- staffs are staying to adjacent area. They thought that they, they will also not be able to come to office. How will I manage my clearing operation? So we had a 26-room training center there, and we took a- admin approval overnight and we bring all those people to our office. Mm-hmm. At the training center, we allowed the food, cooking, etc., food. But unfortunately, on day two, the cooks also. Couldn't able to come. So he, one of the officer went to his uh, residence with the approval from local police. We got him back, and we all collectively staff did the cooking for all the 30, 40 people and supplied the uh, food both times. So that is one piece where the cook and the food we organize the staff commitment we have seen to ensure that the grid system, which is more of a regulatory, which doesn't get affected. so what has helped is a significant amount of this communication uh, with the team directly every day evening has been a critical kind of tool 
to make sure that the teams are up the cow at all point of time. Fantastic discoveries has been, you know, the, the use of uh, VC. Do you see this yourself continuing with this in future when we, when we resume? Depends on my team. I mean, <laughs> 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 yeah. I think so the intensity at which the, these interactions are going to change uh, is, is very much sure. And also the tools, it may not no more be con call only. We'll have we connect with it, come and play a big role. We'll have yeah. uh, you know possibly WhatsApp video uh, yeah. come and play a good role. So I think yeah. even the tools of communication have become uh, far more uh, flexible and useful from a user group community perspective. Yeah. Bhavesh, uh, uh, while we were talking, you mentioned that uh, a bank has developed a travel app. Now, bank and travel app are almost two different worlds. Would you like to share some uh, insight into it? So we have an uh, in-house uh, coding team. So we actually, in our bank of ours, I stood have made ourselves as, as very, very small. I'm not saying it's big, but very small uh, software company kind of a department with uh, a few hundred people working there. Uh, less of bank staff, more of vendor staff. And so, yeah, we have this expertise where we have developed reasonably good applications which are used in the bank, a reasonably good application used by businesses. Uh, public transport is shut down. Banks are expected to run. How is the staff going to come to office? So we rolled out the application. I think so it was less than three days after the lockdown was announced. Car buddy. And this particular application, I am very keen to continue be using it even after the lockdown is lifted. It's, it's so eco-friendly. I mean, you don't have 10 people come in 10 different cars. You have, you, you all, and then you'll get to know your colleagues better. I mean, Bhavis, in a lighter vein, can we say that uh, this app uh, developed by the bank will give Ola and Uber run for their money? Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Oh, Actually, yeah. that is what happening. So, Bhavish, I'm sure there's some learnings that have stayed with you through this entire experience. Uh, can you share those with our audience? On a personal note, I think so. A lot of work will go on two big area. Uh, one is a digital journey for the customer because more as a ops, IT, BTG combined, what we can do along with business. And second one is, I think so, this whole uh, uh, learning of uh, staff hygiene and social responsibility in this area we can as a bank contribute a lot in that space and in the community fantastic thank you bhavesh thank you bindu gaurav Sadanshu, for your time we had a wonderful time listening to you and learning so much in the process i'm sure our viewers you you would have had a wonderful time too keep watching this space we'll have many more episodes coming in for you on behalf of my team at Corporate Communications, uh, I thank you all once again.